What's up everybody, I'm Brian from Iowa and Tesla and today I want to talk about the differences between paint protection film and vinyl and what are the benefits, costs, and how to really install those. Uh, and then later on we're going to talk about is there something in the middle between paint protection and vinyl. Spoiler alert, there is something new. A little precursor to the uh, new material, it's actually really nice. Uh, Flexi Shield, it's a cross between PPF and vinyl and it looks really good, even though you can't really see it. It's kind of washed out. I'm going to show you this in a little bit, but it looks really good. It's a lot like vinyl, but thick like PPF. It's a little bit more expensive like PPF, but not as much. I think I want to do a whole car on it. Maybe Karen's car. There's a lot of options because there's you can do color changes, color flips and stuff. This is carbon fiber, and it looks like real carbon fiber. I'm super happy with it. So as I start off, I want to thank everyone for all the support. Uh, on my last video, I did a matte black Model Y, or my last wrap video, I did a matte black Model Y, and I said if anybody's interested in the North Carolina area, Charlotte area, that wants me to wrap their car, uh, let me know, email me, and the response was overwhelming how many people are interested. I'm in the process of trying to find a shop to uh, start wrapping the cars, because in this garage, it's a three-car garage, but it's taking up my garage and I want a space where I can do two cars at once, possibly like getting one prepped as I'm wrapping the other one and maybe eventually get employees so uh, we can do a lot more and grow a business uh, with you guys' support. That's awesome. You guys, Tesla community is amazing. My subscribers are awesome. So let's get into paint protection film. Let's see, I have a little piece right here. This is paint protection film. Let me take the clear plastic protection off of it. So the protection film comes with protection on it. But really that is to, uh, as you roll up the film, it's protecting the layer on top of it because it comes in a big roll. Uh, as you pull off the backing, that's when the differences happen. So this is a clear plastic. Well, this one's not clear. This is a, or this is a matte finish on there. So it's going to turn the, whatever color you have, there's only five of them, but whatever color you have is gonna turn that a matte finish. Not fully matte because this has got a milky matte finish to it. I'm not a huge fan of paint protection film as far as this goes, as far as the color change. The clear is amazing because you, if you like the color of your car, it's going to give a lot of protection. This stuff is super strong, it's seven and a half mils thick. Uh, it, it can take a rock chip really well, it bounces right off, uh, but it is very tricky to install. You have to put, use soap and water and a, a slip solution, the soap and water, and then you use an alcohol solution that tacks the film, that tacks this stuff, and then you squeegee the water out. There is no channels in this for the water to come out, so you have to squeegee all the water out. Uh, different than vinyl. Vinyl has air channels, air release channels, so the air can flow out. So this is really nice. Protection, you get a lot of warranty with it, and but you're not changing the color at all. It still takes a week to install this stuff, uh, and it's cut out in a template usually, and uh, there's some great shops uh, here in Charlotte. There's Sunstoppers that really install this really well. And But you do see some of the lines. It goes up to the edge, doesn't wrap around the edge all the time, and, and not in every spot. So there's benefits to this and some downsides to paint protection film. Uh, vinyl. There's different types of vinyl. This is deep matte black, that car I just did. Click up here if you want to watch that video. Uh, this is made by 3M. It's a nice backing on there. Let me take off this one. This is satin black. And let me show you the differences between these two. Here's the difference between satin black and matte black. Satin black has a sheen to it where matte black doesn't really have anything. Now, on the back of it, there's those channels like I was talking about, so you can squeegee this out dry, no water, and all the air gets out of it. Really nice. Uh, still sticky, just like the other stuff, but very flexible, especially this type of material. This is a cast film where it, a thin layer is spread out over glue, and then you can stretch it and shrink it however you need to. Uh, this is thinner, though, than paint protection film. It's like 3, 3.5 mils. So paint protection film is twice as thick, typically. And uh, I mean, there are some thicker materials like this one. Um, you know, this one has a, a cap sheet as well. But this is a super high gloss uh, that is fairly thick. But this has big release channels, thicker film, but not as thick as paint protection film. Uh, very sticky, glue smells a little strange. This is a calendar film, a little different than a cast film. 
This can stretch quite a bit. A cast film doesn't like to stretch, but it's already pre-stretched, so you can shrink it around corners. You just have to know how to use this stuff. This is the stuff I had on my Model S, and I love the color. I love the, the gloss of this. This is amazing. It looked like paint, just I did not know how to install it at the time. And there's a video coming for that car. I'm rewrapping that in this material, not this color, but this material. Now that I've learned how to use this material, it's gonna be a redemption video for the Model Y. I like the color, it's, it looks really cool, I think, but a lot of people don't like this color either, so who, can't please everyone. So the difference is uh, in vinyl and paint, per, and paint protection, the major difference is cost. Paint protection film, the clear stuff, paint protection film, that's gonna be like five to six thousand dollars. Five for the uh, clear stuff and six for the matte finish. The matte finish takes longer because they do wrap edges and it takes, it's, it's, it's a very difficult process. The material is very expensive. Now vinyl, vinyl starts at like 2,700 bucks. And this is in North Carolina and it, the vinyl is my prices, but it typically starts around $2,700 and it really depends on what you're doing, what I have to do to the car if you're going from a black to a black. Uh, so if you're going black car to a black car and and what I have to do to remove anything versus if I'm going to a white from a white model three or Y to a black vinyl. I have to remove a lot of stuff. I have to take the bumpers off and really wrap in everything to hide all the white. Or you do see the door jams is the original color. So most people don't go from a white to a black, but it is possible, but you will see a little bit of white. Like I saw on my model S, I had that atomic teal before that got crashed video link up there. That teal color, I still saw some of the white underneath it and bugged me, but I'm very, very picky when it comes to wraps and uh, anything I do to the car, so it's kind of what you want. Um, now again, these are my prices, so the 2700 starting at $2,700, that's my price. You might be able to find a price cheaper, but you get what you pay for. You, I'm sure you can find like $1,200, I've seen uh, someone listed. I would not do a $1,200 wrap on a car. It's just, uh, you're gonna have a lot of issues with that. And I don't think it'll stick very long. As far as sticking sticking for a long time, the manufacturer has a three, three to five year warranty depending on which panel it is and depending on material. Some are even shorter, but 3M has a really good warranty on it. Um, but you can also increase that warranty by adding a ceramic coating to either one, the paint protection film or the vinyl, and it will last longer. Uh, I do offer a ceramic coating on the cars. Uh, makes the car easier to clean, makes it easier to, uh, makes it last longer, because a cleaner car will last longer. Some people ask me, can I take the car through a car wash? And yes, you can, either one, paint protection film or vinyl. You can take it through those brushes. Uh, I personally wouldn't, but you can do that. And the great thing about all these materials is they have self-healing properties. When you put the car in the sun or hot water on the car, it will remove light scratches. Now, a key mark, no, nothing's gonna protect that, but light scratches will just go away, which is amazing. When I did this matte finish on there, you can see more scratches as I'm using the squeegee to put this on but then when you park it out in the sun, they just disappear or use a heat gun. They just disappear, which is amazing to see. So the other question is, is there something in the middle between paint protection film and vinyl? And the answer is yes. I have a piece right here. I'm gonna be doing the hood on there in this carbon fiber. This is a, this is a carbon fiber vinyl is made by Flexi Shield. It's an American company and it has a really it has a realistic looking carbon fiber look to it, but it has air release in the back. So it is a vinyl-like paint protection film. So you put it on dry and it's super thick, super glossy. So you get the best of both worlds. Although the price is a little bit higher than vinyl, but not as much as paint protection films. So in this video, I'm gonna be t putting this on with my father. He's gonna be helping me because it's very sticky vinyl and uh, I wanna see how it works, see how good it is. So. Uh, I may be using this material in uh, the when I rewrap my Model S once it gets out of the body shop. We're gonna see how this works out. So I'm excited to see what this will look like with the new color for this later on. And it's another great option for someone that wants the protection of paint protection film, but will also wants to change the color because this thing, this stuff has layers. So there's like seven layers. It's almost like an ogre, <laughs> uh, thicker and give all the protection that you're gonna need. So 
Again, I'm excited for this Flexi Shield. Uh, I may be doing it on my next car. Flexi Shield, if you want to reach out and sponsor a video, let me know. And again, if you want me to wrap your car, me, my email's down below. Let me know and uh, we'll get you on the list. We'll get you on the schedule. I took the liner off already because it was causing a lot of tension. It was starting to tunnel and it's only needed for shipping purposes. So I'm gonna cut here, the hood's here. So I'm just gonna cut this corner off and cut this top part off up here so it lays a little bit flatter. My dad's gonna be on his way here in a little bit to help out. What that does by taking these off, it allows it to lay a little flatter instead of bunching up here, especially up top here, because the hood ends here. So I'm gonna cut down a little bit so the windshield doesn't get in the way. And with that static, it's just sticking. I do have tape in these corners right here. This is just to uh, um, take away some of the surface tension when I wrap the edge here. I'm gonna flip this around and cut the backing off in certain areas, and I'll show you that in a second and I'll explain it. You can probably do this with the cap sheet still on. Uh, it'll prevent some scratches. But this product does have self-healing properties, so it's not that bad. So right here, you see there's a line, there's a tunneling. It's the way they shipped this to me from uh, Metro Restyling. Wasn't really happy with it, but I'm gonna use that tunnel as a way to cut the backing. That way it's gonna allow me, I'll show you in a second. Let me, uh, let me cut a little bit in the middle here. What I've done here is I've cut a strip that I'm gonna be able to remove and lay centered once I clean the hood and everything. I can then start peeling back one side and squeegee out one side, then flip the other side and squeegee out the other because this stuff is very tacky. I don't want it to stick really strong. So I have also have this cut off down here because this is where it drops off a little bit and I wanna be able to pull and stretch this material as well. but I'll lower it down and put something in the way. That way we don't have any, so it's not sticking up. Two rolls of masking tape should be really good. Uh, that way I can tuck in here. All right, so I'm pulling the middle strip here. Hold it up, and then that's... You tell me when. That's probably good. Set it down. It's just soap and water. Just want to create a hinge in the middle. Without doing that. Without creasing it. Without creasing it. I'm just going to put a hinge right in the middle. And we're all the way up there. Make sure we got plenty. Yep. We got plenty around the sides. So. Cool. All right. So this this stuff is sticky. It'll lift up. Pull over. And then we can peel. Can you do anything you get on the other side? No. Okay. Just stay right there. I see what you're So you're going to hold this up here. Okay. Kind of grab the bottom here, in the middle. And then kind of hold up. Yeah. Probably switch hands. Okay. No, you're, you're good, like that. Uh, I'm going to hold. Hold 
tight, go down just a little bit. We want, and I'm just gonna squeegee back and forth, pushing out the air. It's almost really looks like real yeah, it does. carbon. It's got that 3D look to it. Plastic is really nice because uh, it's not paper where it's going to drop little pieces of paper up here. Alright, pull more there. We want to go tight. Now we do the front half. Hmm. Yeah, we did, uh, you do that or you want me to behind you? Um, I think I can do it. Um, I'm going to try it. Pull it up here. This is, a, this is really nice stuff. You can kind of be aggressive with it because it's so thick. And uh, you can pull kind of hard because it's not going to move that much. It's not, it's not going to allow a big stretch, but... Uh, And I found that a lower angle as you're squeegeeing works a lot better. So now I'm just going to trim off some of the excess, two inches, something like that. You can see how sticky it is. Now I haven't tried this yet, but from what I've seen online, the tape just stops the surface tension of this corner. I'm going to kind of set this and then watch this. Probably can't tell on camera, but it's just wrapping itself around the corner. It's shrinking itself. I'll bring you in closer on the next one. You quit? Yeah. So you take a fresh knife or blade. I'm going to be in your way a little bit, but you come in and you just cut flush to the back. And what I really like nice, this is a plastic knife, so I can ride it up along the hood and it's not going to scratch anything. And you just go right around. That's how you do a corner. So it's all done. It's post heated around the edges. I just heated everything and took my glove and went around the edge. I'm going to set this outside. The sun is going to heat this up quite a bit and then just lock it down in there. Now I do have paint protection film underneath this, but it sticks just fine to that. Uh, also it sticks, it'll stick fine to uh, the paint on the, on your car as well. It is very sticky. It's a little bit tricky to work with, but not as bad as I thought it was going to be. There are, there are some lines here from uh, installation. I want to see how those disappear in the sun and let this bake. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'll show you what it looks like after a little while. So I just pulled it out in the sun and it looks like real carbon fiber. This, this is real carbon fiber. And this looks just like real carbon fiber. This is really nice. Uh, it is uh, going to sit out in the sun and bake for a long time. But I do notice one spot, I'll point it out to you, and it's for everyone learning this whole process. Right 
here is where I had an air bubble and I lifted this back up to about here to get the air bubble out. And I tried not to stretch anything because it's all about the lines with carbon fiber. And I'll see what it looks like later on. But I can see a slight difference. Actually, it's kind of going away now. But there's a slight difference of where the vinyl was lifted up. And we're going to see what that looks like later on. But this looks really good. So pretty much all the lines have disappeared from the face of this vinyl. And it looks amazing. This looks just like carbon fiber. Uh, so I'm actually very pleased with this. I might have to buy some samples of Flexi Shield to uh, really see what this could do. Maybe we do this to Karen's car once it gets done and uh, done at the body shop. What do you guys think of this? Does this look like carbon fiber? Because it does look like carbon fiber from this side. That's actually really cool.